Welcome back to Sip and Tally Films Presents Draft Prospects. Unfortunately, it's draft time for us, so um, now we're going to switch roles to, well, from straight Ravens content to content pretty much for everybody because when doing a draft, we do individual players and who knows what team they're going to go to, so the content's really for everybody. First guy up of this 2021 draft season is Jamar Chase, uh, receiver from LSU. Uh, he didn't play this year. He sat out for um, for COVID reasons, and probably you know to get ready for the draft. But uh, the year he had when LSU won national championship, he had 84 catches for 1,700 yards, almost 1,800. Uh, 20 TDs, um, with a long of what was his longest? 75 yards, 78 yards, something like that. Big receiver, physical receiver, smart receiver, heady receiver. And probably was wide receiver one on a lot of boards last year. Didn't play this year. Uh, the receiver from Alabama took over as that number one receiver. But out of sight, out of mind. Don't always mean bad. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. All right, welcome back. This is your first time here. Make sure you hit the like button um, before we start. Then also click the subscribe also. And while I'm talking, you can go ahead and hit the bell so you can be notified when you get these because these draft videos will definitely be random. Depending on when I finish them, they're going to come out like that. Um, but, you know, without further ado, let's get into it. Again, Jamar Chase, receiver from LSU. And there are a ton of films out there where you can just go watch highlights. This is not going to be about highlights. This is about the things I think he can do or that he does that translates to the NFL. Let's watch the play first, then we'll come back and talk about it. All right, here we go. This is Chase at the bottom down here. Let's see if I can get it up there. Right there. Goes on top of the receiver, DB's head from Alabama. And hits a little, little greedy, a geet, whatever you call it. Now, the reason I got this back view on there, because I want to show you something. See if I can get it there. Right there. There's no separation. There's no separation down there in the bottom of your screen down here. Way down here. There's no separation. He just high points the ball. Which is as much as coaches try to drill that in the kids, they just don't do. He high points the ball. Goes up and gets it. Comes down with enough balance to go ahead and score. Man, do your little dance. High point the ball is a is a trait that we clamor for receivers to have. But either you got that skill or you don't. And most of the people that have that skill are pretty fluent in basketball too. It's going to play two. Going against L uh, Ole Miss right here. This is Chase right here, I think. Yeah, that's him. Comes across. You know, gives the hit on the crossing route. But reason I put this on here, the thing is, is he gets he finds open space. And these these things translate to the NFL. You're gonna find his open space, and he's not just gonna run into a guy. You find the open space, he got great hands. This is him crossing right here. I know the film kind of glitched a little bit. This is him crossing right here. And now he's in the middle of the defense. There's no need to like full speed run balls to the wall down here. Cause this guy, this guy right here is sitting there. Throttle down, find an open spot. Gets a nice ball from Joe. Gets it, catches it with hands. Gets enough, well not, not gets enough, has enough wherewithal in it to protect himself. He got, got the ball and I got to protect myself so I don't get jacked up. Now, had he been running full speed, this might have been a knockout. Had he been running full speed, it might have been a knockout. But he settled in the hole, got a good ball, and he got thumped on his back, but it wasn't one of those big, you know, one of those big, he kind of got laid down almost. That's all. He kind of got laid down. Not, not a big hit. Just get sit in the zone, find an open spot, throttle down. Throttle down, throttle down, throttle down. Catch the ball with the hands. Brace yourself. Tap. Play three. 
Chase down here at the bottom. High football IQ on this kid. High football IQ. Run a little, little jerk route. Now, that is a... There's refs right here. One, two, three, four, five, six yard throw. Five to six yard throw. Running out of the catch. Running out of the catch. Translates. Translates. Because as high as he's going to go, he's probably going to go to a team that isn't very good unless somebody traded it up. You know, you know how the draft works. When you lose picks and all that stuff. But if he, he's going high, Probably gonna go to a team with a young quarterback, or just not so good team. So he gonna have to have to catch, get yards out the catch. Gonna have to. Gonna have to. Just settle right there. Now I don't know if this is like the little snag concept, or he just this little uh, jerk route where he sits, pauses, then takes off. Because if it's not a jerk route, this is great football IQ in order to give your quarterback some space to get you the ball. But if it is a jerk route, it's designed just right. And the way Joe kind of jumps up and throws him, kind of pops up and throws him the ball, I think this is just Jay Moore having great football IQ, knowing that 17 is going to cross my face. So if I just get right here, I should be open. He did, and Joe popped up and hit him. That's why I don't think that was a designed jerk route. Now, with that being said, what can I do once I get the ball? Avoid that. Kind of make him miss while I study driving and falling forward for another five to eight yards. That translates. Let's go next play. Play four. Uh, chase it at the top. Right here. Goes over the top. Running what running what we call a, a loose four. Loose four is it's like a corner route, but you're going up, in, if I can keep drawing, up, then back out. Alright, so he should be working. Let me read let me redraw that. That's kinda ugly. He should be working up. Mm, there. That's how it should work. But because they're going to kind of run into each other, it's going to kind of look like, bam, then get back on. All right, so watch. And the good thing is he's supposed to get right to that hash. But for some reason, the safety took the hash away, maybe thinking it was a post, and he just stuck it right up the field. Just watch. He's just going to stick it right up the field. Watch the safety right here. Just for some reason, run straight to the hash and kind of take it away. They ain't letting you get in this post, so he's just gonna run right to the hash. And when he does that, he just sticks in the ground and turns up. Over top. Six. Six. The ability to change direction and do all this stuff without slowing down is one of the things he's good at. Cause he don't he run his routes fast, but they're not like out of control full speed. They control routes. That's why he can break and cut like that. So he can break and cut like that. All right, play five. Up here at the top again. Now, yeah, this is interception, but the back view is why I want you to see this. Watch this route. He can run routes. Watch this route. He is right there. Can't really see him. He, you can see his arm and whatnot. Can't really see him. But he's right there. You better see it once the play starts. There we go. Close his face. Wow, look, a little out route. And it looks like a simple out route, but he did more, more than just that. Close that space quick. Because at this point right here, he can do whatever he wants to the DB because he can close the space so fast. If you want to want to run a dig, he got it because he got the leverage. If you want to run a um, post, he got it because he got the leverage on that. If you run an out, which is what, fin what it's going to be, watch what happens. You gonna stick that foot that that in it right there. Gives him enough room for the DB because DB is off balance. DB just swiped that with his own. Now he's already running this way. The DB still ain't really got his feet up under him yet. So in NFL, 
That's the NFL Open right there. That's the NFL Open right there. That's more than NFL. That's high school Open right there. But Joe's looking somewhere else. So Because he didn't get the ball in the out route, like he thought you know he was going to turn it up. Then he decides to throw it the last minute, which allowed the DB to close. So that's a great route. The execution as a team didn't work out, but that's a great route. So watch how fast he gets up on the DB toes. But it's a different one. It's a different one. It's a different one. But still, it, it stays the same. Just him up top. Watch how fast he get up on the DB, DB toes. And then when he breaks, watch how low he is. His center of gravity lowers so he can stop almost on a dime. All right. Gap's closed already at 10 yards. Look how low he is in that cut. Two steps. Now back to the ball. NFL open. Especially with the ball thrown on time with timing. You need that. NFL open. All right, it's going to play seven, which is the last play. And this is kind of why you want a guy like this on your team to be able to do stuff like this. Five-yard throw. It's a five-yard throw. Turns into a 60-plus-yard TD. Five-yard throw. Turns into a 65-plus-yard TD. Watch a little shake on an option route. I think it's, I'm assuming it's an option route, but just watch what he do to him. This is, this is him right here. Come off on his foot fire. Freezing. Slant inside hard. Now, he ain't really open. He got leverage, but he ain't really open. Great catch with the DB all over him. Now, what I'm going to do once I get the ball? I'm going to take it to the crib. Or oh, as Desi Banks say, to the apartments. This is why you want a guy like this on your team. This is why you want a guy like that on your team. This is why you want a guy like this on your team. Just to take simple throws. Takes pressure off the QB. Takes pressure off the O-line. That's a blitz. That's a zero blitz. It turned into a touchdown. A zero blitz. He was the hot man. It turned into a touchdown. So as of, as of, as of right now. I'm not going to say that because I watch, I've watched him play. He's in that discussion for my one of my top receivers. And the funny thing is, three the three guys in my top top receivers are from LSU and Alabama. And maybe 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 even four. Maybe even the top four is from LSU and Alabama. But we'll get into more of that. I got a list of ten on my board that I'm going to try to um break down. Uh definitely had this film already kind of queued up. So they, that's why I went first with Jamar Chase. Got some stuff off Waddle and um, Devontae um, Marshall from LSU. Uh, the kid from Purdue. I, I haven't found tape on him, but he's pretty fast. I like what I saw in his highlights. Uh, I think his name is Moore. Um, I think he's from Purdue. And uh, just out of the 10 guys I got on that board, I think I got film of seven of them. But this is the first one. This is J. Mar Chase from LSU. Let me give you his measurables real quick if I got it. Do I have his measurables? I do not have J. Mars measurables. I thought I did. Oh, yeah, I do. I do not. thought I did. The internet has failed me today. Okay. Anyway, somebody put how big uh, big J. Mar Chase is in the comment section. And uh, this is Coach Evans with the first uh, draft film of 2021. J. Mar Chase, LSU Tigers, potential number one receiver in the draft.